Today we are going to be throwing the best pre-spawn lure for largemouth bass. So stick around, you don't want to miss it. What is up YouTube fan, TJP Fishing Outdoors, and that is right. Today what we're going to be doing is fishing with pre-spawn lures. It's pre-spawn time, it's early March, so currently it's windy out. So there's going to be some lures that I want to throw, but it's not going to be the best in these kinds of conditions without further ado let's get right into it but before i show you these baits i want to give you the verse of the day which comes from first chronicles 16 24 declare his glory among the nations his marvelous deeds among all people take that verse throughout your week also if you want to leave a verse of the day drop it down in the comments down below also trying to hit uh 300 subscribers for the end of march if i do i'll be giving away this Guggen Squat, well, it's not really Guggen Squat, I just put a sticker on it. But this 32 ounce or 30 ounce Lincoln Tumbler with a Guggen Squad sticker on it. And on the back it has Philippians 413, as well as this Swamp Pro Lures hat. So be sure to be subscribed if you're new. Always doing giveaways all the time. I've been trying to hit 300 subscribers in december and or maybe january and just february but trying to hit 300 subscribers for the end of march so i can give that away to you guys if we somehow hit 1000 subscribers before the end of the year i'll be giving away two mystery tackle box juggernauts to two lucky subscribers but that is if and only if we hit a thousand subs before the end of the year and if we hit 300 for the end of march well i'll be giving that stuff away as well anyway Let's get right into bait. So, some experienced fishermen will do this. If you're new, just listen up. Um, I got a white craw. This is a bandito bug. Um, but I have a white craw, and that's perfect for seeing those fish up on bed. And I'll be using a white craw all the way until post spawn. So, white craw, that's probably number one bait. I just switched over to this little shad looking uh square bill crankbait you don't have to use a red crankbait but the one i had is just a little bit bigger i'm just trying to catch fish also i have a red lipless crankbait but we're going where there's rocks so uh also i mean really that's the two main things i also have a chatterbait a red yeah there it is nope i broke it off um i will have a white chatterbait uh, as well and i believe that's going to be it i might bring a popper a uh, white popper along just in case but those are going to be the four rods that i bring so let's head on over to the pond we're back at the pond i'll throw up the wind on the screen again because once again fishing in a hurricane in illinois it feels like but I left the popper in the truck. I brought along a rooster tail just in case. Now, the way this pond is laid out, we got the dam here, so it's it's pretty steep here. Rocks along there. This is all shallow, a little shallow flat. Uh, this little break in here, curving the water here. And all along that backside is a little flat and then drops off. So there you go there's a little little helpful hint for you guys target the rocks target the uh flats because those bass should be moving up i don't know uh don't know how well this is gonna go we're gonna start off with the crankbait always start off with your moving baits and then go more finesse if nothing else is working so But the colors are white or any very bright color. Oh, nope, that was a rock. Any any bright colors that you'll be able to see. Now this water is dirty, so white's gonna be our best bet. We can't go a whole lot of red. A lot of people throw red in the spawn in springtime, but red is also the color that disappears first under the water and i run a 
mini uh, a small crankbait in the springtime not one of those deep divers just because the fish aren't out deep i mean so, some of them are but the ones we want to be targeting are up shallow so we don't need you know a 25 foot crankbait when we're in four foot of water so oh there we go there we go first fish there we go there we go there we go as i was talking about it baby luckily i brought pliers today all righty first fish of the day cute little feller beautiful beautiful fish oh now see that one it's got a little little patch on its tongue so that one might be a spot that doubt it might just be a stunted fish i think all of the bass in here are stunted so i didn't know any i didn't know the pond at the house had any bass until i first started getting into bass fishing and i was just like what the heck try it out and uh caught a three and a half pounder out of there and, and that's really what fueled my addiction to this so uh I took bass from here, from this pond, and goodness, this wind is really giving me fits. Um, but I took bass from this pond and moved them over here, and they have grown insanely. Like, like these are quarter of a pound, if that, half a pound, and over at the other pond, they're averaging two two pounds so which is amazing I've never pulled a big bass out of here over a pound so golly alrighty well this is uh, out of commission that will have to be fixed at a later time. Alrighty, well, we are, oh, of course, love living by train tracks. But uh, down to moving baits now. So now it's time for those aggressive fish to come out, start playing. And alrighty guys, well, walking back to the truck. Only one fish, that's all right, hey. It's all right, I guess I need to get my dad back out here. Uh, I guess to teach me how to fish. You know, I try to do this every single day. Try to be the best fisherman I can and dad just willy nilly comes out and catches fish bigger than me. So maybe I need to have him on again. I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out and I have no idea how I'm gonna get these tangled up fishing rods out of my truck, but one fish better no fish. Also, the boat runs, so that's better than nothing. Um, we got big plans this year, that's all I gotta say, really. Um, so without further ado, we got one fish. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to be subscribed if you need to try and hit 300 subscribers before the end of March. We'll be giving away two of those things. If I hit 325 before the end of March, I'll be giving away uh, something bigger. I'm not sure what yet. So be sure to be subscribed if you're new. Take the rest of the day with you, and I'll catch you guys on the water. Peace.